Do you take a probiotic and is your probiotic in a capsule or powder form? If so, then you are taking a freeze-dried probiotic and you're going to want to hear about why that is a problem and why you should switch to a living liquid probiotic. This is Flourish and I was introduced to it by a friend and it's been a game changer. I was spending around $60 monthly on what is considered to be a top quality probiotic, but I now realize it wasn't even working. Um, it had very little chance of making it past our stomach acid to our guts, and I never realized that you can and should feel a difference when you're taking a probiotic that actually works. I know it seems like everyone is trying to sell you a product nowadays, and people claim to have the next best thing that will fix all of your problems. And it's understandable to be wary of these types of companies, and I was and still am not a huge fan of them. And it's not because the structure itself is bad, it's actually pretty genius. It's because some companies have given it a bad name by using dishonest marketing tactics and exhibiting behaviors that are less than pleasant. Not to mention that sometimes the products aren't even that great. So I just wanted to clear that up from the get-go. This is not any of that. This is simply a small company with one product who is dedicated to helping people achieve their best health. Um, I had already been using Flourish and personally recommending it to so many people that when I found out that they started a consultant program to try to reach, reach a wider audience, it was really a no-brainer for me to just choose to jump on board since I was already basically an unpaid rep of the company because I was that in love with the product. I've had so many questions and interest in this probiotic throughout all my social channels, um, so I thought it would just be easiest to make a video to be able to refer people to when they have questions about what Flourish is and why it's different. So what is Flourish and what makes it superior to other probiotics? So first and foremost, the microbes are kept in their liquid format, which is the most natural state that probiotics can exist. Flourish is a living liquid probiotic brewed in small batch, traditional old world style, using only the finest and meticulously sought out ingredients. Flourish also includes the probiotics food source, which is the prebiotics, so they actually continue to multiply even after bottling. In addition to pro, uh, prebiotics and organic acids, the culture medium naturally provides vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and amino acids. Integro firmly believes in the theory of consortia, which is the process of co-growth that combines multiple strains during production. Um, each strain develops and grows while interacting with other strains. So the strains are grown together in community, resulting in microorganisms that become a small ecosystem much more resilient and capable of working together synergistically. The method is similar to how microorganisms actually survive in the natural environment. In nature, strains do not exist in isolation. They're always interacting and communicating with each other. Um, so this gives us a major advantage over other probiotics because most um, are powdered probiotic capsules where the strains are grown individually uh, and, they're in, and then they're combined only after having been freeze-dried. All probiotics start out as a liquid. They have to be grown as a liquid. And the process for most probiotics is this. Each individual strain is centrifuged to remove most of the liquid, and as a result, the food source and the beneficial metabolites are lost as well. So after being centrifuged, the paste is then freeze-dried into a powder, and the powder can then be placed into capsules or mixed with other ingredients or other strains. Um, and in this process, the bacterial strains are grown as single strains and combined only after having undergone centrifugation and freeze-drying. They did not grow together in community. In our liquid flourish, we retain the natural growing state, never centrifuging or freeze-drying or separating the strands. It is so vital that the strains grow together, flourishing in community, because when the freeze-dried strains that were separately grown make it to your gut, when they wake up, they can actually start attacking each other. Um, there's a difference between alive and in a suspended state of animation. Good gut bacteria need to be ready for action to be able to work together as a cohesive community of different strains. Think about it like this. Imagine how well you would be able to work with a team you never met if you were first put into a cryogenic state 
then woken up alongside millions of strangers and suddenly had to work together to combat an even larger group of strangers of unknown intentions. Imagine instead that you'd had the opportunity to slowly build a self-contained community with them, free from foes, before you were ever even introduced to a new environment. This is the major advantage fermented probiotics can have. Can your probiotic survive stomach acid? Freeze-dried probiotics also have a major disadvantage because they have a 3 to 70% survival rate past the acidic stomach environment. And let me just tell you that is not a positive statistic. Because Flourish is kept in its liquid state and brewed using traditional fermentation, the bacteria is already a similar pH to the stomach acid. So the strains are already in an acidic environment, unlike freeze-dried strains that wake up in the acidic stomach environment and are most likely killed. The organisms in Flourish are also hardy and resilient and actually living, and they're able to pass unscathed through the stomach acid to reach the intestines easily. So now you know why Flourish is so superior to other probiotics, but let me back up a little bit and explain the why behind the what. So why do we need to take probiotics? Why are they so crucial? Not only to our gut health, but to every part of the human body. I'll make it really simple. Our bodies are made up of more living organisms than cells. Bacteria outnumber cells 10 to 1. So if we're not feeding our bodies with what it needs to keep the good bacteria alive, then the bad bacteria takes over, invades the body, and causes sickness and disease. And this used to not be quite as big of an issue when we were living off the land and bacteria from the dirt was covering our produce and whatnot, but now we obviously have to supplement or our bodies will suffer. When most people think of bacteria, they picture disease-causing organisms and the need to fight infection. And although there are many types of harmful bacteria, the body contains many forms of helpful or friendly bacteria in the intestinal tract. And this is known as intestinal flora. And these organisms consist of bacteria, fungi, yeast, and they have specific purposes that help the body. The gastrointestinal tract is a complex system that allows the body to digest and absorb food while moving waste through for excretion. So for the intestinal tract to function properly, normal flora must be present. Intestinal flora are types of microorganisms known as probiotics that live normally as part of the intestinal tract. These organisms have so many functions that help the body, but also they gain benefits from their hosts. For example, these microbes reside in the intestinal tract where they receive nutrients for growth, and um, they're present in both the large and small intestines. A healthy gut is vital for healthy life. That's because our gut is closely linked to nearly every function in our body. We now know that the health of the gut is critical to overall health and that an unhealthy gut doesn't just cause digestive distress, it contributes to everything from obesity and diabetes to autoimmune disease to skin disorders and so many other. In fact, it's safe to say that you are only as healthy as your gut. Healthy gut flora is critical to overall health. Researchers estimate that we have 100 trillion bacteria, some bad, some good, living inside our bodies. Yes, that is trillion with a T. And outside of the 100 trillion bacteria inside of us, there are hundreds of different bacteria species. So that diverse bacteria is what plays a major role in keeping us healthy. Your body's microbiome, colonies of various microbes that reside in your gut and elsewhere in and on your body uh, is as unique to you as your fingerprint and can be rapidly altered based on factors such as diet, lifestyle, and exposure to toxins and antibiotics. So not only is your body the home to 100 trillion bacteria, you also house about one quadrillion viruses. And all of these organisms perform a multitude of functions and, you, and they need to be properly balanced and cared for in order to maintain good health. But there is a glaring problem. We are killing our good bacteria. When our gut bacteria is balanced, we should have about 20 bad guys and 80% good guys. However, our gut microbiome is completely influenced by everything we do. The more sugar, artificial sweeteners, unhealthy fats, and toxins that we eat, the less good guys we have. Um, one of the most devastating things we can do to our guts is to take antibiotics. Um, and the word antibiotics literally means anti-life or against life. 
Antibiotics have their time and place in life-threatening situations, but they should always be a very last resort if you have the choice. Um, and if you've had just one dose of antibiotics, your gut microbiome can be permanently altered for life. Probiotics means or translates to for life or pro-life. Let that sink in. Diet is another huge factor. Sugar, health, unhealthy fats, gluten, GMOs, pesticides, chemicals, toxins, and um, other pollutants, they act as a fertilizer for bad bacteria. And tap water is also a culprit. Unless you're drinking well water, tap water is full of excess amounts of chlorine and fluoride that propose serious health risks to your health, and um, they kill the good bacteria that you need. Stress also takes a major toll on the body and the gut feels the brunt of the effects. Have you ever heard of the gut-brain connection? So in short, in order to maintain a healthy gut, you must avoid processed foods, sugar, unhealthy fats and preservatives, ditch the chemical-laden produce and go organic, stop stressing so much, avoid antibiotics, and take a good probiotic supplement to repopulate the gut with good bacteria. Hippocrates, long considered the father of medicine, stated, thousands of years ago. All disease starts in the gut. So all health also starts in the gut. Um, and research has shown that if one supports the beneficial bacteria in the gut and or corrects the imbalance of bad bacteria to good bacteria in the gut, um, so many positive health outcomes are possible. And certain conditions can be improved or resolved, some diseases prevented or reversed, um, the microbiome is a flexible living ecosystem that changes constantly and the cells in the intestinal lining replace themselves every three to six days. So as a result, with some commitment on your part, you can personally oversee a resilient rebuilding project that has the potential to completely turn your health around. So as you strive to reach your health goals and objectives, it's overwhelmingly important to understand that gut health is foundational to beginning the journey. I simply want you to consider switching your current freeze-dried probiotic for a living liquid probiotic that is actually going to work in your body and make it past the stomach environment and get to work healing your gut. Integra also has a Flourish Junior and this is for children and it actually tastes really good. My two boys love it and it tastes similar to kombucha, kind of like a strong flavored kombucha but it tastes a lot better. Um, the original doesn't taste amazing, I mean I like it but um, it, it's fermented, so it's, it tastes fermented. <laughs> but you can mix it with anything. You can mix it with any kind of juice or room temperature beverage, and that is totally fine. Um, especially for children, that's, that's helpful. But um, also I wanted to mention, you don't have to get the Junior for children. They're both the same potency. They're both 8 billion CFUs per bottle. So uh, it's just a taste preference between the two. Um, uh, the Flourish Regular is uh, the strains are fed with uh, organic uh, non-glycophated molasses and the junior is uh, fed with sorghum. I will leave the link below if you're interested in um, learning more about Flourish. Um, there's an FAQ page on the website that's extremely helpful and it's loaded with information. Um, but if you have another question, feel free to reach out to me. I will also leave my email and um, my contact information in the description below, or you can just leave a question in the comment section below. I also wanted to mention that you can try Flourish for 30 days, and if you do not feel a difference within 30 days, Integra will give you your money back. And if you're interested in hearing a little bit of my client's testimonies or my personal journey with Flourish, go to my Instagram and click on Flourish Highlights. Thank you.